What's up agents and welcome back to another Division TU15 video. Today we're going to compare some uh, guns with the flatline talent just to try and figure out which assault rifle this one's going to be about is going to be the best when we log in to TU15 because them expertise levels cost a lot of materials and we don't want to be wasting our guns. Now this video is going to be quite specific to certain guns, long barreled guns, for instance the Carbine, the ACRE, the Kingbreaker and the Police M4. They're probably your top assault rifles in the game right now and will continue to be come TU15. Luckily enough in the PTS I nabbed all the base damage numbers and flatline damage and all that good stuff so that even though the PTS has now ended we can still do the math and work out which is best. And you guys can then optimize the gun, have it ready to go when TU15 drops. And all you have to then do is get yourself the flatline talent in your library. But you can do that dead easy. Go to the crafting bench, make ARs until you get it. So before we get into the dirty maths, please hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you're notified when I do more Division videos. Check the links out down below. I've got a community Discord. Come and join it. Or come on over to Twitch. I could be streaming live right now. Hit that follow button. Twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. Rudely interrupted there by that NPC. So, this is going to be a pretty quick video. Uh, there's nothing too special to actually show you. It's always going to be... I've already done the maths. So you guys are going to get the TLDR version. Uh, but this is the build that I plan on kind of running uh, the reason that i'm running technician is because when we are using flatline we need the linked laser pointer because the flatline damage only applies when enemies are pulsed regular flatline is 15 percent amplified damage and kingbreaker the perfect flatline on there is 20 percent amplified damage so we're always going to want to be running the linked laser pointer just so that that pulse is up all the time now, there are going to be other builds that you can run with this yellow builds and things like that where you can actually use actual pulse uh, but for my example i'm all about the reds so the first one for me to do was going to be this one here so this is going to be the build you can see the stats pretty decent uh, we've got 60 percent crit chance very important 183 percent crit damage headshot damage at 90 percent no armor damage 21 percent health damage and then we've got a lovely out of cover damage over here at 8% that's not listed in the stats. You can run the contractor's gloves if you like. Uh, obviously, that's very much there's not a lot between running the contractor's gloves or the Providence defense. Depends if you're getting group buffs or not. So, totally up to you. This is currently set up as if I was going to be solo YOLO, uh, which is why I've got the Providence. It just edges the damage uh, just that little bit. So these are the numbers we're going, this is the build we're going to run the numbers from. So first of all, I'll show you the carbine. They've all modded up the same way. Obviously the talent, you would just have to pretend the flat line is on them all. Because uh, that's the talent I have applied to the numbers that you are going to see. Uh, but they're all modded exactly the same way. Uh, with a crit on the top, crit on the end, the linked laser pointer and the extra 20 rounds. Just to make it absolutely fair. So I'll throw up the carbine seven numbers now. This is my absolute favourite gun. I think the range on it is absolutely fantastic. It's got a really good RPM. Uh, so you can see the uh, 12 million DPS, 462 million on the damage per minute. Really, really good. You can see the actual specifics with the body hits, the body crits, and all that good stuff as well, and the head crits. And then we also get the one clip average as well. And you get both of them numbers for health and for armor damage. So it looks really, really, really good. So now we're going to flip over to the ACRE. So this only has a 650 RPM. In fact, what we'll do very quickly while I've got these on, we'll show the base damage. So you get a fur fur look at everything. So you can see the base damage on a carbine 7 is 47k, but it has a 790 RPM. Uh, higher on the ACRE, as you can see, the damage number is higher, but a slower RPM, uh, 53k uh, base damage on this one, but with only a 650 RPM. And we'll throw the numbers up for this one now. Uh, so this one's actually lower. So with this one, we're down in the 11 million on the total DPS rather than the 12. Uh, it's about 900k out. 
Uh, very, very close though. You see, this is so. Now, when you look at the, the total damage per minute, uh, it comes in really, really close. And it actually beats out the carbine, but that's per minute. So, you know, you've got to think about your burst damage, how many enemies are you taking on, uh, and things like that. The carbine's going to win on burst damage sustained. Depending on how long it's going to be, the ACRE might take over. But again, those numbers flip around a little bit with the armor. So there's not a lot between these guns. Totally depends on your own use case, which one you prefer to use. Uh, but in a real world scenario, these are very close. And this kind of proves that when they did the, the weapon balancing, they brought all of them in the AR category, especially very, very close together so that then you could really pick the gun you want to use. So the third gun we're going to look at is the Police M4. I know a lot of people like the Police M4. We're not going to look at the FAMAS and we're not going to look at the G36. They don't take the linked laser pointer. So much harder with these two guns to have a, a, a pulse up 24-7. Uh, that's probably going to be for another video. Uh, but we'll look at the Police M4 here. Uh, you can see I have, uh, I'll put it, get it to the top here. Uh, so we've got, got 44k base damage on this, 850 RPM, which is really, really nice. Um, and obviously these are the kind of stats you want to be running, but obviously optimize damage to target out to cover and then flatline on the talent. Let's put the numbers up for this. So this one actually looks really, really good. The total DPS actually beats out both the ACRE and the Carbine 7. The damage per minute falls off, so the Carbine's better at sustained. Police M4 a little bit better at bursty burst. Uh, then when you look at the armor side of it, the uh, the police M4 again just tags it with the the armor damage, literally by around a hundred k. There's not a lot in it, uh, but then the police M4 falls short over the carbine uh, with the damage per minute. So again, not a lot in it. The one clip average on the police M4, which I suppose is very important to look at as well is actually lower than the Carbine 7. And that, for me, with the really good range on the Carbine, is why I use the Carbine. I feel like it just edges the Police M4. But there's a, a feel-good factor about the Police M4. It's an absolute laser beam. So you might hit more shots, and then, therefore, you might kill things quicker. So totally, really, between the Carbine 7 and the Police M4, probably absolute top tier just down to usability how you like to play the game which one feels better in your hands so then we're going to throw up the king breaker and the king breaker comes in as the absolute king but we know this handles like an ak ak's don't handle that well but it's dps at medium range for sure you're probably going to be able to hit the shot and you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck it comes in at 30 million nearly on the total dps uh, and then everything else is just greater. Uh, the numbers on all of them are just higher. It just hits harder. You get a lot more one on the one clip average than you do on all three of the other guns. But there is handling issues with this gun. On PC, I, I was using it in the PTS. It's okay. Is it fun to play with? I kind of err on the side of not as fun as a Police M4 or a Carbine 7. So I'm going to have to kind of try and make my mind up what I'm going to do. Uh, I was very certain yesterday when I saw these numbers that I was going to go with the Kingbreaker. But when you're using it, it's just not as fun to play with as the other guns. So although the DPS is top tier, it might just end up being my secondary gun. Saying that, it probably won't. I like to take a Scorpio for a, a oh shit moment. So who knows? Who knows? So let's throw all these up together so now you can see all of the stats on screen at the same time. Hopefully the numbers are big enough for you to see. I, I certainly think the, the bigger rounded numbers are the ones that you want to see anyway. Uh, but you can see all of these numbers up here on screen. And uh, yeah, you know, very, very close. Probably we could lose the ACRE uh, and not worry too much. Uh, but if you like to use it, you're not going to suffer too much at all. Uh, the Carbine and the Police M4, a, a bit of a mixed bag, but both right up there at the top. Just nudging the ACRE a little bit but again accuracy plays you know player accuracy absolutely plays a part in all of this uh, and then the king breaker is the king of the ar category uh, because it gets perfect flatline it gets an extra five percent ap amplified damage uh, i didn't put the non-named version in because literally i would just be taking 
five percent off the, the numbers there that you can see for the Kingbreaker. It still does win. It's it's like it beats out the other guns by about three hundred k. There's not much in it, but that certainly isn't worth it. Why would you use the the non named version with regular flatline? You would just use the Kingbreaker. There is uh, literally no reason not to use the Kingbreaker at that point. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope these numbers, I got a lot of requests for in other videos about what about this? What about that? What about this? So I thought I'll start doing that as I've got the ability to show you all the numbers while we wait patiently for TU15 to drop. Uh, so hopefully this will help you make your mind up what guns you want to be getting ready uh fully optimized and absolutely good to go ready so you can just change that talent to flatline because flatline is really nice super op definitely going to be the most used talent for me of tu15 anyway even on my m1a i talk about that in another video i will link that down below don't forget to subscribe check out all my other videos come on over to the community discord or check me out on twitch i'm gonna go live the minute i post this video and i will see you all in the next one Thanks for watching, agents. Goodbye.